Hey buddy, what can I get you? How about the ultimate sports memorabilia basement? Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams. Okay, so the most important part of coming down into any basement when you want it to feel like your home is to have an open, inviting space. So we got the staircase opened up. That looks fantastic. Then we were challenged with a column right at the bottom of the stairs. So what we did with that column is we recessed four bats into the column. And that worked out really, really nice. So as you come to the right, you'll see we built all these wall units. They're really cool. And everything was, again, different sizes and different shapes, but we wanted to display everything. Believe it or not, the homeowner had a big surplus of really cool stuff. So we actually created these hidden doors into storage rooms where he keeps the surplus of all his memorabilia. This is one of the most unique bars we've ever done. We chose to float this bar in the middle of the basement, allowing us at least 10 seats around it. Some of the elements of this bar also include a built-in kegerator, there's a fridge, there, obviously we have a sink, plenty of storage underneath, a trash cabinet drawer. So although it may not look huge back here, it functions and gets everything that you need into the bar. In addition to that, we did concrete countertops, reclaimed lumber, and just the overall design and the way it floats. And the back, we have an entrance from both sides, even with the back bar. This is really special. One of my favorite bars ever. This home theater is really unique. We really focused on Michael Jordan memorabilia. It's all the prized possession stuff both inside the home theater and outside at the concession stand. All the stuff was different sizes and different shapes, so we had to build custom wall unit to make sure everything fit, but we wanted it to look symmetrical, and we knew that it was gonna be the focal point when you walked into this theater. At any great sports bar or sports memorabilia basement, you have to have a bathroom. So we put a half bath in here with my man Rocky on the wall. This space I'm in right now is behind the open home theater. It's a great area just to hang out, play cards. We got the bar right here. Everything in this area is open to see the movie screen, including this great countertop, also concrete with another eight bar stools. So it's all about the sports memorabilia. And you can see in the walls behind me, there's you know everything from basketball, baseball. There's an empty spot right now where the homeowner is getting an Aaron Judge uh, jersey frame. So it's constantly uh, going through a transformation. Okay, so we're here next to the bar at this poker table. We even created an area for the kids. We had a column in the wall here, so we did our signature move and put in these glass French doors with the side lights. Inside the kids' room, although it's not huge, the doors make it feel bigger. We even have a working desk in there for them. There's a little built-in. So we use every inch of this basement, as we always do. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this basement as much as I enjoyed building it. The design elements were so unique. We were very fortunate to have great homeowners that really trusted us in our design and gave us all this great sports memorabilia. Follow us on social media because we got a lot more great stuff like this coming up really soon. You're gonna love it. Every basement you book with us is a home run. Yeah!